market for gardening. It yeah. hasn't been for quite a while. Or is that just going to make the tomatoes like there you go? Really now that big, is you know looking at the cup. The glass half is half full. full. With the amount of rain, there's no way it's empty. I mean, it's uh, got to be. Uh, <laughs> so very true. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. All right, talk about the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get some impacts from Helene. It's so far away right now. It's incredible to think mm -hmm. that it's that far reaching. But this storm is 400 Huge. plus. It's pretty big, yeah. and it's it's strong. Massive. It looks yeah. Very strong. Made to category three, which puts it in a major hurricane category. Uh -huh. Think about all the people in Florida. I mean, that Georgia coastline. Georgia, too. The entire state yeah, was Atlanta. under tropical storm watches or warnings. I mean, the entire state of Georgia. Wow. Not used to that. No, not in the northern part. No, uh -uh. I mean, this storm is going to maintain its strength all the way inland. Here it is now, just updated. Category 4 hurricane now. 130 miles per hour. You can see the center of that eye wall there starting to form a little bit more, which means that it's been strengthening. Another note, John is causing a lot of problems from Mexico. A lot of the uh, tropics are waking up. We had Isaac named. This system is going to come north through parts of Georgia and then bend off to the west. But again, because it's so large, we'll get some outer rain bands from this. So let me time it out. Making it to a Category 4 storm is incredible. It was forecast to do that. Here we are now seeing that verified. It could even have winds strong enough to reach Category 2 hurricane strength after it's made inland or after it's made a landfall from 6 p.m. Thursday to 2 in the morning on Friday. Going to be some big problems all along that path. Thankfully, we're not at direct hit, but again, we'll get some outer rain bands from that. I just want to highlight some of the storm surge potential here right along the coast, Florida's Big Bend area. That's storm surge in excess of 12 feet. I mean, I want you to think about how tall your house is. A story or two completely underwater just to put in, into perspective as we bring it in closer to home. And I know we took a long flight there. We came uh, here to Maryland where we have some spotty showers. Thankfully not super active today. We lost that north wind, which created that mist and drizzle, sort of that uh, mess that we've had the past couple of days. Now that we're out, uh, winds are out of the south, things are a little more dry tonight. Mainly cloudy skies, readings near 70 into tomorrow. Friday looks very wet. I think it'll be rain through most of the day, about a 40% aerial coverage for some moderate to heavy showers. But in between that, that mist and drizzle back, it's going to be uh, pretty steady as we time it out here on Futurecast. So from 11 p.m. tonight into Friday morning, the day starts off mostly cloudy with showers working their way in south. These are the outer rain bands from Helene. Far reaching through midday, light rain across the board, and then getting a little bit better by the afternoon and evening. Friday evening plans could be okay, but I would certainly factor in some showers. They become a little more widely scattered, but we'll get some showers out of that for sure. Into the weekend, it's a chance of on and off rain Saturday. The later in the day, a little bit better. Sunday's trending a little more dry, not completely rain free. This will likely linger into early next week. Wet and mild Monday, Tuesday. Rain tapers off Wednesday, Thursday. Partly cloudy skies. Finally a chance to mop up, dry out. Looking forward to that, Kelly. All right.